Hello Southface community and welcome back to the Love World Tank console video. So in this video I'm going to be doing another tank review. So in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Eradicator, the new British heavy tank that just came out a couple of days ago. It's a three shot auto loading tank and I will be co comparing it to the Carvinar. And this is a tank that's, you know the Carvinar action tank that was released a couple of weeks ago, uh, a couple of months ago. This is basically that tank, but an auto letter. So let's just compare it to the Carbon R. Why not? So the Carbon R is on the bottom of the game. And the other tank, which I completely forgot the name of, is on the top. So horsepower on the other tank is better at 915. Uh, 950. Horsepower uh, power to weight ratio is 1425. Better. For speed is 36.3. Three. Why is this weird? 36.3 and the carbon R is 34.3. Why is that weird? Why is that weird? I don't know. And top reverse speed on both tanks is 12. The other tank has better top speed and both of them will have a fire chance of 20. Our eradicator is on the left side and the carbon R is on the right side. So they both get a quarter pounder, a quarter pounder, 32 pounds. Okay, a cute, you know what, I'm not even going to say the name. It's a 32 pounder. One's auto letter, one's a not auto letter. So the covered arm's at 8 second reload. It's the other tank's 21 seconds. And they both have a aim time of uh, 2.5 of the eradicator. And the covered arm has a 2.3. Both have an accuracy of 0.34. Accuracy on the move is better on the carbon R and rotating on the turret. They both fire the same distance, 720 meters. Carbon R has worse gun elevation at 18 and has a gun depression of 10. Okay, so the Eradicator has a gun elevation of 20 degrees, which is better than the carbon R, but it's just at the 18 degrees. They both have a gun depression of 10 degrees, but the Eradicator gets a three-shot autoloader clip, and it has an inner clip reload of 2.7 seconds, so pretty good. All right, since the Eradicator's on the top and the Carbonar's on the bottom, since it's the same hole, they both get the same kind of rotation speed and terrain resistance. Rotation speed is at 24 degrees a second, which is okay for a heavy tank. Alright, Eradicator is on the top, Carbon R is on the bottom. The view range of the Eradicator is less than the Carbon R at 380 meters, but the rotation speed is also slower at 32 degrees a second compared to the Carbon R 36 degrees a second, and the Carbon R has a 400 meter view range. Alright, now we move on to the concealment and spotting. So, the concealment on the. Oh, yeah, Carbon R is on the left side and the wait yeah your eradicator is on the right side okay and the numbers that you see is 17 34 90 100 don't worry about those because they are changeable by equipment crew and consumables so the covered arm has less concealment i mean more concealment at point 10 at stationary and point 5 while moving and the signal range is 750 on both tanks, and view range is better on the Carbonar, as we said before. Okay, as you can see, the Carbonar is on the right side, and the Escal uh, the Eradicator is on the left side. So, as you may notice, the guns are very, very similar. The Carbonar, start with the Carbonar, gets a 7.5 second round, uh, 7.5 rounds per minute. It has a penetration. 220 on standard, 252 on premium, 47 on its high explosive. Its standard and premium are 280 damage, and a high explosive damage is 370. And the Eradicator gets a 6.82 rounds per minute at 220 millimeters of penetration on its standard, 252 on its premium, and 47 on its high explosive. And 280 damage on its standard and premium, and 370 on its high explosive. So that's about it for the gun.
Alright, now we move on to the armor. So the Eradicator is the one that's moving and shows you the pictures and things going through. And then the Carbon Arms on the left. Basically, these are the same tank, but the Carbon Arm is missing the space armor around the turret. So, 254 millimeters in the front of the turret, 152 off the sides, that's excluding the space armor at the very sides, and 95 at the back on the turret. And that's about it for the armor, as you can see. Let's flip it through, and now we actually get to go play some games. Alright, now we get on a top tier match on Cliff. This team destruction, now I get to show you how the auto-loading system of this tank works. It's basically just like, like a regular auto-loader. <laughs> Has a three clip auto-loader. Uh, clip, three clip, as I said before. Also, the equipment I have on it is a gun rammer. I mean, not gun rammer. Wish. Uh, Gunling Dry coated optics and a camo net. Why do I have a camo net on a heavy tank? Because I did not have enough silver to equip this tank fully. So, camo net's gonna work. It works good for me because I have a crew that makes, like, big tanks, like, disappear. Because this is my 4,000 by crew, and I, it's all about concealment. So, there's the VK3002 D that just shot us in the side. As you can see, the side armor didn't really hold up there, but the VK3002 D's 88 millimeter gun. And if you look to the bottom left of the screen, you can see our entire team just sitting there. If you keep an eye on them, they'll stay there the entire game. Why don't you hit that WZ on the engine and our three shots only managed to do 815 damage to him, which actually really, really sucked. And now we get to reload for this VK3002D. Don't really want to you know, shoot us and penetrate. Ass one. Ass two. And ass three. It's a good take when you start getting it firing and keep it firing. It is really good. And now I realize, like, whoa, my entire team is sitting down there. <laughs> and I didn't mean to fix my track because once you and Okay. The big mini map, once I come back from the big mini map, used to, I could hit, oh, and went and fixed my tracks because my... Basically, the system's messed up. So when I hit back on the big mini map, it actually fixes my tracks, which is very, very annoying. So it eases my repair kit without me even needing to use it. But in the first two and a half minutes of this game, we were able to do 2,600 damage. And there's a carpet arm right there, and we're getting hit by artillery. The artillery is actually burnt, the FV-304 fast firing tier 6 British artillery but as you can see how much damage he's doing to us and I'm also trying to hide behind this Hellcat 105 HMC and behind this mountain so he can't hit us there's a Tiger 1 fire one shot track him and second shot he's dead and now I'm just gonna go for a reload because it's really it's really a good idea to keep your clip loaded at all times Right now, I'm jolting back and forth so he can't aim for my capoler on the top of my tank. And right now, I'm aiming, trying to track him into place. And since my ground won't go through that, I'll just aim for his lower plate and just penetrate it. As you can see, this is how you display this tank. You just rock back and forth and make people miss your weak points. He's not really shooting at my weak points, but even if he was, it'll give him a hard time trying to shoot it. And I was hiding my lower glacius plate for a when I was hiding it behind the Hellcat 105 HLC. There's also one thing I've noticed about this thing. It doesn't get a lot of rounds. 
for the amount of damage you are able to do in this tank. You get 40, hold up, 5, 6, 7, 48 rounds, but that 480, okay, you get 48 rounds for 280 damage, so if I times that by 48, that's only 13,440 damage that you are able to do if you pin all your shells with your standard and premium and hit. It's not a lot. You can definitely feel your ammo low, like going dry really quick. Can't really carry any big games. But we are able to do like 3,900, 4,168 damage and yeah, and we're running out of standard. There's a board sticker right there. And he's sitting right beside that hill. And I have an idea. I want to go jump to the top of It may not be a good idea, but we're winning. We're going to win this game. If I could jump on top of or try to, I'll be happy. There's a board stick. Hello, Mr. Boitze. He falls backwards, and I actually hit a rock before I hit him. And the artillery just finished him off. And I also get spotted assists for it. I actually still spotted assists from him. From whoever spotted him. But anyway, that was a victory. We get four kills. 27 penetrations, if I read that correctly. We made 280,000 silver. No, it's 17 penetrations. And we did 4,168 damage and 860 block. And that's it for me. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Because while we're done, it beats out. See ya.